Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis in his message to the sick, be merciful as your father is merciful. The Maronite Church in Jordan and Palestine celebrates the Feast of St. Maron. The Jordanian government announces a gradual end to corona measures. We also have Archbishop Vindictus sponsors the ceremony of laying the foundation stone for the establishment of the commercial, sports and cultural center in Beit Jala. Welcome back. On the occasion of the 30th International Day of the Sick, which falls on the 11th of this month, His Holiness Pope Francis sent a message to the sick under the title, Be Merciful as Your Father is Merciful, calling for the healing for them and asking them to live their lives and submit themselves to God from their hearts and said, The experience of illness makes us feel weak and in need of others. His Holiness indicated that the pandemic calls us to think about other types of diseases that threaten humanity and the world. He explained that inequality between people reveals that some enjoy distinguished services, while many others find it difficult to obtain basic health care. His Holiness concluded his speech by saying, Jesus will pass near you throughout the sacrament of the Eucharist. So deliver him your torments, your pain, and your fatigue, and rely on the prayers of the Church which rises from all parts of the world to heaven for you, and God will never forget you. Amidst an atmosphere of tranquility and spiritual comfort, the Maronite Church of St. Sharbel in Amman celebrated the Feast of St. Maron during a divine liturgy presided over by the Church's pastor, Father Joseph Suwaid, with the participation of Metropolitan Joseph Jbara, the Melkite Roman Catholic Metropolitan in Jordan, and the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, Father Jamal Khadr, the Chargé de Faire, the Papal Embassy in Amman, Monsignor Mauro Lalli, pastor of the Arab Episcopal Church, Reverend Faiq Haddad and a group of priests, monks and deacons and some official figures and a number of parishioners and guests. The Maronite choir performed the hymns and chants of the Mass in the most beautiful Syriac melodies. During the Divine Liturgy, the intentions were recited and the symbolic offerings were lifted, which indicated the cohesion of the Church around the altar of the Lord. In the Holy City and on the occasion of the Feast of Saint Maron, patron saint of his parish, St. Maron Church revived the Divine Mass, presided over by Bishop Musa al-Hajj, pastor of Haifa Diocese and the Holy Land of the Maronites, in the presence of the Papal Ambassador and the French Consul in Jerusalem, and the group of bishops, monks, nuns, and the group of the faithful. After reading the Holy Gospel, Archbishop al-Hajj called in his sermon to imitate St. Maron, who lived in a time full of turmoil, where he was a school of prayer and love. He also called for prayer to heal the sick in the world, and that security and peace prevail throughout Lebanon, and that everyone live in harmony and a decent life. On the occasion of the feast of the entry of the Lord into the temple, His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, the Greek Orthodox Metropolitan of Jordan, presided over the service of the Divine Liturgy and the festive sunset, where a procession was held on this glorious occasion for the icon of the Lord's entry into the temple. It was moved by a solemn procession from the church of the monastery of St. Nectarius to the temple of the entry in Swafiyya Amman. A number of priests, deacons, and a group of parishioners participated in the service. <laughs> In Iraq, his Beatitude Patriarch Raphael Sacco participated in a symposium held by the Al Naharin Center for Strategic Studies on the occasion of the Interfaith Harmony Week. The symposium was attended by an elite of academics and Muslim and Christian clerics, a large crowd of officials and members of civil society. In his speech, his Beatitude Patriarch Sacco stressed the importance of theories and ideas to practical application in respect of citizens and equality among them, because there is marginalization, exclusion, and injustice caused by strict religious discourse, calling for its treatment on the ground through changing educational curricula and open religious discourse. In the Holy Land, His Excellency Archbishop Benedictus Metropolit, Patriarchal Vicar for the Greek Orthodox in Bethlehem, sponsored the ceremony of laying the foundation stone for the establishment of the Commercial, Sports and Cultural Center in Beit Jala and the opening of the municipal building in the same city. 
The ceremony was attended by a number of priests, officials and representatives of the official and security agencies, security institutions and a crowd of the city's citizens. This project, which is the first of its kind in the region, will raise the level of the town of Bejala, its prosperity and development. Also, it will help serve the young women and men of the area and its families and create job opportunities for the people of Bethlehem and its suburbs. In addition, this vital project, it will contribute to improving the tourism and commercial situation in the country. The Jordanian government confirmed that it is in the process of a gradual announcement to end the procedures related to the corona pandemic, including reducing the number of daily examinations and moving to the stage of coexistence with the epidemic and its various parameters. In addition to not placing restrictive measures on any of the sectors, especially the tourism sector. The government, in the words of Prime Minister Dr. Bishar al khassawne stated that these expected measures, especially those related to the PCR examinations, will facilitate the movement of tourists to the kingdom, especially those related to the PCR examination, especially that the kingdom has become in a safe stage of facing this epidemic. The Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. His Excellency Michel Hamarne, at the age of 86 years, passed to heavenly glories after a life full of giving and achievement. The late headed several important positions in the kingdom, including Secretary General of the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, Director of the Office of His Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, a member of the former Senate, and the Director of the Royal Institute for Religious Studies and many other important sites. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, in his message to the sick, be merciful as your father is merciful. The Maronite Church in Jordan and Palestine celebrates the feast of Saint Maron. The Jordanian government announces a gradual end to the corona measures. Archbishop Vindictus sponsored the ceremony of laying the foundation stone for the establishment of the commercial, sports and cultural center in Bejala. For more information, please visit our website www.nursajo.org Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.